So, I don't know. What are y'all's thoughts on these? I feel like I need to walk around in these upstairs on the carpeting a while. Because where it is, it's right there at the toes. That's right there is where you feel it. But you know that over time, especially. You know how you get some shoes you have to break in, but then later they're the best shoes? I feel like that's what these are. These are really good shoes, y'all. But they ought to be for the price. Um, don't have the price handy. I'm sorry. I'll put it in the comment below. I mean, not the comment, the um, more info section below, which is right below the screen if you look. So this is a maybe. But I'm feeling good about it because it's a really good sandal and it's got a bit of a heel. Not everything I wear can be a flat because for one thing, I don't feel like it's that great on my feet and my legs. Um, the only thing I don't like about this is this is a stacked heel. There's no give. Uh, now, the bottom piece right here has a little bit of, not cushioning, but it's not as hard as this wood. These are stacks of wood in there. And there's, it's, um, then again, when you get other shoes that aren't, whether it's cork or they're not as stable for you to plant your foot and you can that's how your foot can wobble like that and at my age I can't have wobbling I need a good firm plant but um, I don't know these are not ten dollar shoes so it's like I love the look of it it's very it's very casual it could be casual or you could wear it with a dress I wouldn't say it's dressy per se um, I would say this is business casual to casual. It's stylish. It's high quality. It's not too high, but it gives me a heel for like sundresses and stuff in the summer. That could go into the fall until it gets so cold that your toes can't show. <laughs> so we'll see about that. All right. So you saw those two things. And then I thought, you know, if there's ever times that you're thinking, gosh, you know, I can't really afford to buy anything. Um... I mean, there's been seasons of my life where I've been prosperous and able to um, splurge. And this is kind of that season, but it's I'm pulling it down. Um, Y'all know I'm a big Brahmin buyer, so um, I have been doing a lot of Brahmins lately. But like I said, two or three of those, four, five, six, I've sent back. Um, but others I've kept. And so I thought, what is something that you can just, you know, you don't got to spend a lot of money on, but you can really enjoy. And that is, I know y'all are going to laugh, but I've got a little garden set. One of them is this cute little, this is from Pikes, this, this cute little watering can. It just makes it, honestly, it makes it fun to do all my little house plants. I fill it up and just go around and talk to my little plants and tell, ask them how they're doing, give them a little bit of water. And then also for my outside plants, oh, you can use this inside as well. I got this cute little set, and I think I got this, was this at the grocery store, or where did I get these? I don't think I got these at Pikes. Where did I get these? I went to a dress shop, but and they had a lot of interesting things in there. So this may have been there, but it's just a, some gardening gloves. And, um, you know, the inside part of it is waterproof, which is important so that you don't get, you know, mud all in your fingernails and stuff. But that you want the back part to breathe. So that part's breathing. It's pretty and it matches. It all, all this matches, you know, the little shovel and the little rake. And do these things matter? Yes. When you are, um, when I'm doing garden planting stuff, it definitely helps to have a little rake. Uh, sometimes when I've even potted a plant, I want to kind of rake the soil around because it compacted too much. And then also pruning shears. You just, I have to get new ones every once in a while. This does have the little safety lock on it. So I'm really liking this. And this was very inexpensive. Um, but I feel like it's a good quality. This may have been at Pikes, but it doesn't look like Pikes, does it? It doesn't. Oh, I know. It was a little uh, garden shop. A little garden shop. I mean, you can go to Pikes. You can go to... Um, Walmart, you could go to, um, you know, groceries, um, grocery stores and uh, drug stores have this kind of stuff now. So it can just be a little short trip to the store and it can give you so much joy. So I'll just stick that in there when I'm not using them. But anyway, I thought I would share that with y'all as well. I hope that y'all are um, 
if you haven't been there in a while, that you might uh, give me another chance over there at the uh, um, Pure Bible Channel, Beth Buchanan Pure Bible Channel, because we are about to do a Bible study. I'm trying to keep it to daily, but, um, you know, life happens, and I'm doing the best I can to upload on time. Um, but I have been in the Word, and I am going to be doing a special... I'm thinking about starting a new part um, series on the channel that is a daily prayer. It's just going to be called Let's Pray. And we were kind of doing that. I was asking for prayer requests in the bottom, and sometimes they'd show up. Um, and I would pray, and uh, we would pray together. But also, I just feel like daily prayer is something we all need. Um, and I'm going to go into that about how uh, I got real down. We're all human, and I got, I got really, really down, and I'll go into why on that channel uh, about some things that were going on, and it took a friend who I've really helped her walk through some stuff, a, a gal that I work with, and it took me telling her what was kind of going on in my head and that I had some, that I was frightened about my health, and she gave me a string of scriptures in a prayer she does every day. And I thought, everything she said in her prayer, I thought, oh, there's a scripture for that. There's a scripture for that. And then at the end, she sent me a text with all the scriptures that put together her prayer. And I'm like, I was thinking about those very scriptures. Because God has given us so many promises in his word. And when we stand on it, we know we're going to be all right. I don't care what happens. And I know some of y'all may be dealing with some health issues, relationship issues, financial issues, just concerns about the economy, the nation, the world. There's so many things that the enemy tries to attack us with, and we're not supposed to listen to him. He's not worthy of us listening to him. Only the Lord's uh, worthy of us listening to him and the power he has to see us through anything in this world. Um, this is world's our temporary home. It's not forever. That's why for those of you who, have, who may not have made a decision um, about God and about uh, turning your life over to Him, I highly, highly, highly encourage you to do that. How you doing with your life? I mean, it is better. I, I don't say this lightly or flippantly to turn your life over to the Lord than what you're doing with it, if you haven't yet. Um, but you do need to do it thoughtfully. Because um, it's nothing but good. It's nothing but good. I can tell you that. And some people say, well, I turned my life over, Lord, and I had problems. I'm like, you would have had those problems anyway. But to have him to lean on and to start really getting to know him like you know a friend and realize he's real and feeling him and hearing him and, and knowing what he would say to you as you get in the Word of God, the Bible, there is nothing that will comfort you more. There is nothing that will give you a sense of peace. I mean, if you need peace today. Um, and knowledge. He'll give you wisdom and knowledge as, as you need it. And, and if you'll trust Him, He will work things through. It doesn't mean He works everything out the way you want it, but when He works it out for His plan and His glory, it's always to our advantage to do what He wants to do. Because He's in charge. Whether we... Whether we believe it or not, he is. And so it's best to turn to him and to turn everything over to him. So I'm just going to encourage you. I'm going to start putting the link to my other channel below. Um, and then that way, if y'all ever, after watching one of these videos, want to go over there, you can. Um, and I appreciate your support of both channels. I really do. It means a lot to me, especially in these times right now. So. Anyway, I love you guys. I think this is uh, that's it on this video. So I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.